Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Farming Simulator 17 coverage or let's play, well not really let's play, it's more of a mod review on, of a, I don't even know if you want to call it mod review because I said I'm not going to really review mods from Giants because I would think they are good. But anyways, let's get right into it and the thing that we are talking about today is... So what we are going to look into is the for real modules released by Giants and uh, for real modules and at first I was like meh meh I don't know what I think about this but what I can say now is I really really do like it. Um, we do have the for real module crops destruction we have the for real module 2 which is tire dirt and the uh, module 3 so far which is ground response and I'm kind of curious if they have more for us in store or not but we will see that and they are super easy to install uh, if you haven't tried that yet um, you just go to the mod hub and i'll show you where that is is here mods you go to the mod hub and it will show your latest best best downloads and whatnot if you don't have them there will be a one for me in this case it is the real clock because i have not installed that i don't see the reason for it um, but i pretty much have everything else installed on the mod hub uh, especially the other and on under other you will find the for real modules one two and three i really wonder if they have more for us in store but let's look at those modules here um so crop destruction adds crop destruction to all wheels except care wheels or thin wheels and then we have module two adds more dynamic dirt to tires dirt is applied separately on each wheel depending on the ground so that one makes me super excited and then of course this one adds more advanced terrain properties tires will sink into the soil depending on the type and weather wheels respond more dynamically to rough ground and slip more on wet soil and as it happens it's just raining cats and dogs and i have two no actually three fant tractors no fant is not my most favorite company but they are green and the other company that i like is green as well so now they are actually my second favorite uh, tractors that are on the market but we have here tractors one with uh crop tires one with extreme twin tires and one with normal tires uh just to show you what exactly the crop destruction means and uh, the reason that i have this little guy standing here is because on the way down here they got a little bit dirty and i wanted to show you guys what those um for real modules do really and we're gonna have a look at it we're going to have a look at it but before we get really into it let me say hello to the thousands yes literally thousands of new viewers that um joined the northern pack over the last week and a half um i am very humbled by this response and please let me know in the comments below if you're one of the new ones so i can say hi to you and uh, if you are one of the uh, old or of the resident northern pack members then say hello as well down below let me know how you like this uh, video let me know how you like the series in total what would you want to see in farming simulator 17 from me and uh, yeah without further ado let's look at uh, uh, crop destruction because i got this question a lot during the streams as what exactly does the crop destruction do well if you drive through a field like this one here where we have the crops in in full stand and you drive with this one then now and and by the way um this uh, crop destruction got updated today and now it is i think as close to um the real width of the tires as you can possibly go now let me show you here oh, actually before we go into the crops let me drive on the outside of the field so I can show you the dynamic wheel dirt because that one alone is quite interesting. Now it's raining and so you will see that those wheels here will get dirty in a hurry. See the difference? You will see the difference in just a second when those wheels are really dirty and those wheels are pretty much clean because they are rolling on the um yeah on on barely the the normal 
grass and I wonder if I just put one side of the dualies into the dirt if that even will make a difference that would be sweet I will test that I will test that after but let me show you the crop destruction now so when we go here into the field and we drive through the crops now yeah, well you'll see it oh sweet particle effects added yeah this is what crop destruction means and if you have Y tires like you have them here should maybe turn the lights on in this kind of weather then you will have a lot of destruction when you take a normal tractor conversely you only have a little bit of destruction actually it seems like the small tires can make a lot more destruction depending on when you are uh, driving between the crops here but overall I have to say um, oh, you can see that the destruction is a lot less than it would be with the wide tires and this is what you see when you drive past the real field and you see those little lines going through the field this is where the tractors are always going back and forth oh you can really see for real module number um, three is it more realistic response to dirt look at how the tractor is going up and down you can see it on the cab because the ground is really really wet now and uh, I'm kind of tempted to go to a field that is plowed just to see just to see how badly it uh, will go through there so let's now look at the crop destruction with uh, or the lack of crop destruction when I use those tires so if I use crop uh, crop tires as these ones there is no destruction because they are so small that the imprint is just not significant enough to make any kind of impact and those are the tires that you want to use if you go fertilizing um, in stages two and three because people ask oh what are twin tires good for then well for example if you plow you do not want to compact the earth uh, or the soil more than it already is so you will use Y tires to get a lot of, of, of weight dispersed over a lot of uh, not over a bigger area and by that you can pull also heavier implements because uh, you have a wider area where the tires will grip so let's now go to the next field here with this tractor Now it would appear that this is indeed uh, on the twin tires, although I'm not 100% confident that I didn't go and uh, went into uh, the dirt with both tires. So that needs some more testing. But yeah, you can definitely see how the, the ground now affects the tractor a lot more. If you look at the movement of the tires, wonderful to see that and I like the approach uh, from Giants here uh, using modules rather than uh, um, not using modules rather than put this into the game right from the get-go because that way you decide how real or how uh, how arcadey you want your game to be and yes of course now you could argue well they could have made menus and whatnot yes they could have but they didn't and for what it is for what it's worth I like the approach that they used there
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely nice to see all the movements here. Very nice. And then conversely to that, uh, look at the little movements on the road that you have, just because you don't need them. Hopefully I'm not running into any AI. But yeah, look, the tires are clean now. Cleaner, anyway. Hmm. <coughs> That's what you get from that. Don't try that at home, kids. What do we learn from that? Do not hang off the front bumper while you drive. Bad things will happen. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys those three modules, which I did. Um, I am going to run a couple more tests, especially with the uh, uh, module, how it reacts to uh, weather when I plow, um, if there's a lot of difference. That would be pretty cool, because then all of a sudden another mod that I use, and that is the drive control mod, makes a lot more sense, because then I can switch... Uh, I can switch differential locks and whatnot. But yeah, guys, that shall be it for now. As I said, please leave me in the comments below whether you like or not uh, that I make those shorter videos that are more focused on one thing. And uh, for those that wonder, yes, there will definitely be... Um, There will definitely be a Let's Play series going. But until that is the case, we just uh, keep on focusing on these things. And yeah, the Let's Play series will start here right away too. Probably even within this weekend. But uh, we'll see how that all works uh, until then though. I hope you enjoy the videos that are coming out. And uh, yeah... I hope you will watch the next one as well. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you feel inclined to do so. And uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day and God bless.